hello and happy day it is friday it is day four post the initial snow that actually like stayed on the ground here and good news we are combining let's head to the field and check it out I am obviously in the skill house again today. Avery is driving truck and Mason is back in the combine despite getting kicked out the one day um, when Avery drove the combine for a little bit. But we are going at it. We have had quite a few loads in today, I would say from the fields that we're in. We are really the only ones in the area right now, um, at least hauling to us. The dogs are playing behind me and they just ran into my chair. Um, but we're really the only ones in this area right now that are hauling corn, at least to us. I'm sure there are some people that are going to the co-op. But we are pushing hard because we want to get done, obviously, with harvest. So that's what's up. That's the status of New Age Custom Farming right now. You guys, I have a very important update. Also a sad update, too, at the same time. But our friend Chad, who works for Schultz, who... Um, does the dryer and like the grain bin and stuff here his son watches our youtube videos so shout out to him but he brought me a sticker for my um sample cup so that everyone can see their logo so i am highly expecting this to be a thing from them next year but on the sad side which is why i need them to do this next year i cracked i think it's because it's obviously really cold out and if it fell or something so my sample cup is no longer whole, but it has a sticker, so I'm happy about that. Sad about the crack, but shout out to Schultz Interstate Egg for giving me my stickers and listening to what I was saying. Well, taking a load of dry corn into the elevator here, still trying to get some room made in our grain facility, but uh, yeah, I think winter is officially here. Snow's flying today. They're going to try and chill some corn. If it stays cold out, the snow won't bother at all. But, um, yeah, if it starts to warm up at all. And that, right now the snow is nice and dry. You know, it's cold enough that it's dry. And it'll go right through the machine. But if it gets a little bit warmer and that stuff gets wet and heavy, it'll fill the sieves up. So we'll see what happens, I guess. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully Mason films some stuff out in the field and... We'll see what he thinks. Go from there, I guess. Not good corn harvesting weather. So, picking again today. Um, a little bit of snow on the corn, but it's cold, cold enough out that it's going through the machine good. Last night, we got about a quarter inch of snow. Not too bad. It's going good. About 40, 43 acres picked so far. This farm doesn't lay so good. So it takes a little longer to get acres done, but not a big deal. It's all got to get done. Um, so yeah, not a great day. A couple trucks broke down, combine broke down getting them all going again and hopefully get this last 30 acres here picked so. oh gosh um let me show you what i just walked in on Bree. what did you do are you really that hungry you're gonna be pooping corn even more than you usually are do you have anything to say for yourself Maisie, did you help with this or is this all brief? <sighs> I wish you could clean up after yourself. Wow, the real feel is like 
nine degrees. Last I checked. We still got lots of cord coming out of the field. We'll get Avery. We'll have him do a little in the moment and let us know what's what's going on. Put him on blast. I'm putting you on blast. Well, if there's any indication on how today is going, this is my third truck I've been driving. The third truck? Yep. What do you do? Break the rest? See this white stuff on the ground? The snow? Yeah, that makes my life miserable. Oh, what happened? Give us the details. The 411. Well, I shut the blue freight liner off and now it won't start for some reason. Well, because of emission stuff, diesel exhaust fluid flew in this country. And then uh, the Western Star was froze up. All the airlines had moisture in them. And then the black semi blew an airbag. Man, oh man. Hello and happy day. Today is Monday and we did not do any farming over the weekend. So the last clip you would have saw was from Friday. And the reason we didn't do any farming this weekend is because this past Saturday or slash weekend was opening day or opening weekend for deer season here in Wisconsin, um, gun deer season. So we were short on help because people were hunting. Um, and Gregory was actually at the Lucas Oil Pro Pulling League's banquet this weekend, too, down in Louisville. So basically, like, no help this weekend, um, which is fine. So again, slower on the harvest, still not done, but we're plugging away, getting stuff done. But yeah, that's why no farming done this weekend. And actually, down at the PPL banquet, Greg won an award. Um, I can't remember the specifics of the award, but if he comes to the ski house today, I'll get him to chat with me about it. Otherwise, I'll insert something about it a little later on. But back to a busy week of farming. So Greg did not come into the scale house like I had anticipated him to the last couple of days. And the award that he won down at the PPL banquet was the ambassador award. So here's his photo from the banquet. I also want to say good luck to anyone in Wisconsin or in surrounding areas that have deer season. Good luck on catching your deer. Monday morning, back picking. Um, took the weekend off for deer hunting, opening deer hunting. Um, it was real cold out too, we didn't want to mess around and freezing trucks up, gelling up. So, just took the weekend off, but we're back at it now. Hopefully we can finish. We have a couple good days here, we should be done by Thursday. I doubt it, but that's our goal. A little bit of snow yet on the ground, none on the plant. It got warm enough during the days, sunny enough that it melted it off. But. So rumor is, according to one of our truck drivers, that Mason said we're going to be done by Wednesday night. And I think part of that might have to do because it's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving and he wants to get rowdy. But I know we are narrowing down on acres and so hopefully fingers crossed we are but also i feel like i need to say knock on wood here's some wood knock on wood um because the last time i said something about us hopefully being done in the next video uh clearly it didn't happen so fingers crossed knock on wood he's right and we are done by wednesday night the night before thanksgiving and we'll finish acres done hopefully it is also quite a busy day here at the grain facility. Um, we have quite a few farms, different farms calling in, which is a good thing because, you know, more corn in, more corn coming off. And then we also have quite a few um, loads of trucks going out, which is also a good thing because then we won't get too full. Um, and then there's also a crew here Please hold while I weigh in trucks, is what I should have said. Um, 
We also have the crew here from the grain bin company putting up the new soybean bin, starting that whole process or working more on that process, um, which is really exciting because then we will be just one step closer to being able to get soybeans in next year. So, GSD, get stuff done. So we're on the next farm. Got Avery in the cart. Uh, got a pretty nice goal in here. It's a 125 acre field that we're in right now and just across the street up ahead is I believe in 60 and then there's a 30 over there too. So we're doing pretty good. Um, now there's some really good going left for the last couple days. So hopefully we knock her out. guys great news let me flip the camera around but look at they have the first ooh, the first ring of the soybean bin up we will keep you guys updated i guess throughout the next couple of weeks as they do it but the first ring is up yeehaw so they are obviously putting like the first layer or first level i guess of it up and then i think they'll do the roof and then we will just keep building it up and up and up. And so obviously we will film all of that. But it's a super exciting soybean bin and going up. I wish I could do a time lapse of this entire project, but I don't think we can. I mean, it will take multiple days. And I don't have a camera that will last um, long enough like throughout the entire day with the Wisconsin cold, but we will keep you guys updated as best we can. Hello, let's give you guys a late night update on the bin. It's actually not that late, it's only like five, but they spent the entire day putting up um, the whole roof and obviously they still have to put the actual roof on. They definitely did some other things, but here is end of day two of them like actually building the green bin up. So we will keep y'all posted as it goes, like I said in the last one. So. Here it is. Loading trucks might be my least favorite job at the grain facility, but yesterday I loaded one to the exact weight they're supposed to be, so I'm pretty proud of that. Here's the setup for loading the trucks. So it just comes from the drive-in, the overhead to the truck, and then I load them the weight they're supposed to be at. Well, I just got home from the scale house to this. This, what happened? It broke the couch. Okay, well on your harvest scale of one to zero, what's your vibes? Pretty much a zero, I am over it. Moved on, ready for vacation, ready to do anything but harvest corn yeah I'm kind of getting ready to be out of the, the scale worst, house the worst part is the fields are getting froze so they're just that much rougher to drive through and everything that's cold out it's supposed to be nice tomorrow or nice or warmer tomorrow but I don't know I did some tillage today did you film any of it 
filmed some of it from the other day. Oh. Or are you just hating your life? Let me just yeah. set this. Pretty much just hating it. This is a good angle. Good shot of your... Ew. Um, I'm getting really tired of being in the scale house, but at least I've got good snacks. Like veggie pizza today. It was amazing. How many loads did you get today? I don't know. I didn't count a lot. You can see how many steps I got. So you think you got 100 loads? Well, yesterday we got 85 and we got probably around that same amount, if not more. We made a little bit more out, which is good. Yeah, we had, we basically only ran with one combine all day. The one broke in the morning, and then as soon as they got that one fixed, the other one broke, so. Which obviously sucks for us getting harvest done, but being in the scale house wasn't the worst thing because it was a, it wasn't slower, but it, it would have been a lot faster or there would have been a lot more trucks and people in line if we did have both combines going. So it was like a horse apiece of if it was good or bad. So indifferent. It was bad. Yeah, I mean, it was bad, but I didn't hate it for my sake. Anywho, <laughs> thanks for watching this video. We're ending it here. I would like to eat dinner and then go to bed. Do you have anything, final parting words? Yeehaw, baby. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, good luck to all the deer hunters catching their deer this week. And <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. See you next time.